Everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Another day of milling. I'm going to try to get, it's going to take me today and tomorrow, I think, to get all the timbers cut for the outdoor kitchen and probably some for the uh, garage thing that I'm building right here. So I'm going to change the blade out. Used it for maybe three or four hours. And I'm going to switch it out to a new one, hang it up. I do have a sharpener, so at some point when I have some time, I'm going to sharpen blades. but. I've got, I think, 12 blades uh, that are unused still so far. So I'll use those up first and then start sharpening them. So, and then I'll grease the uh, bearings as well on the wheels. So I'm going to get at it and see how this day goes. Poured, poured rain last night. All day yesterday. Basically 24 hours of rain. <laughs> so it brought the water levels back up in the stream, which is nice. Watered the garden, which is really nice. And hatched a bunch of new mosquitoes so not nice but uh, today looks pretty decent 20 degrees celsius and i think 30% uh, chance of showers today and for the next few days but anyway nice working conditions other than the bugs
throw that. Here, here. For a swim. Kelly needs to go swimming. Do you...
small, probably just...
All my wood strapping is cut 2x6x10 by by feet long, which is not enough to stand from an overhang here to the third truss. So I have to piece it in, like one to here and then one to there. So I'm going to do that every second one and then mill some longer 15 footers so that I can span three. So if I, in other words, do an overhang here 2x6. To the center of this frame here and then from there I'll go all the way out to the overhang on the outside of the kitchen so that's spanning three and then I'll alternate that so short long short long and do the same all the way down on both sides that'll give it a lot more structure and then I can decide if I need any corner bracing some racking racking uh, prevention bracing whatever that's called so, tacking in just some uh, little nails that I can rest the 2x6s on while I'm getting up there to nail them in place.
Thank you.